Hi guys, so today we are at Mahabalipuram which is about an hour's drive from Chennai and we are outside the famous Shaw Temple which dates way back to the 8th century AD. Let's take a closer look. So this is one of the oldest stone structures in south of India and you have early mentions of this uh, in sailor accounts and they used to be called the eight pagodas uh, because of the top of the temples. Now this is the last one which is the Shaw temple, the rest have all vanished and it's called the Shaw temple because it overlooks the Bay of Bengal obviously. So the temple was designed in such a way that it actually um, reflects the first rays of the sun and the waves. And it's a massive stone structure as you can see. It's amazing that it's still so intact even after all these years. And you can still see some of the uh, figurines on the top of the pagoda as well. So there are two temples, there's the smaller temple which is this one and there's the bigger one at the back. You can't go into the big one, this one has a small shrine on the inside um, and the bigger one I think you can just see from the outside. So that was the Shaw temple, let's see what else we can find in Mahabalipuram. Again behind me we have more beautiful structures, we are at the Panch Ratna or the Five Chariots as they are called. Let's take a closer look, come on. So these are all monoliths that were carved out around the late 7th century AD. Um, you can still see a lot of the detailing in the carvings and they're still pretty intact. Some say they were supposed to be uh, temples but they were really never completed uh, which is why their true purpose or significance isn't known. But they are named after the five Pandavas and their wife Draupadi, which is of course a popular uh, epic tale from the Mahabharata. But we don't really know more about these. So these are the five chariots and there's an elephant and this looks like a lion. So they've got carvings all around on the top, uh, different designs on each chariot. You can see this one has uh, designs along every pillar, this one just has one. So that's it from Mahabalipuram guys, there's lots to see, lots of history and it's totally worth the one hour trip here. Make sure you come here, the beaches are also beautiful so if you have more time, check them out. Yeah. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you guys.